Boston for the F1 race and a while ago we did a challenge on our Facebook we gave away four passes for this race paddock passes and these are the winners next to us so I'm here with Kenneth Kenneth can you introduce yourself my name's Kenneth Drake. I'm 32 years old here from Mint, Texas. Actually, this is home state for me. I live about an hour up the road. So You were at the Paddock Club the whole weekend. How is that? It's a dream experience. I mean, you come to an F1 race. I've been one time for the grid walk, and that's about all I did. You know, watch it at home, and you come and experience this. It's, it's the best of the best. My name is Brad Wright. I am uh, 24 years old. I'm from North Carolina here in the States. Um, I've been sim racing for about 17 years, so to, to come out here to have your brand represented kind of my entire career in sim racing, it's kind of cool to be out here with you guys and to get to experience all of this. Uh, how, did you, how did you get into sim racing? Can you tell me about that? Yes, uh, my dad uh, has always been a NASCAR fan, so I think in the late 90s he decided to go out and purchase uh, some computers. And uh, he got me one just because he wanted to have a father-son kind of bond. And uh, 17 years later, here we are. Uh, we run iRacing regularly to this day. Uh, NASCAR Racing 2003 is where we uh, kind of uh, met uh, all of our guests here with us. F1 is also getting into eSport. We have F1 eSport series now. What do you think about that? I think it's amazing. I think there's still a market uh, for racing. I think uh, Codemasters has done a good job. I think this eSports series will go a long way. Um, and kind of after coming to this event, I kind of maybe want to give it a shot. Maybe want to put some time into it. So uh, we'll get, we'll look at it. We'll see, what, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So uh, I'm Thomas Hazard, I'm uh, 28 years old, I'm from uh, Minnesota. I was a big NASCAR fan as a kid and uh, I was just walking through uh, Best Buy one day and just saw this video game as uh, NASCAR Sim Racing, I think it came out in about 2005, 2006 and um, I just thought, you know, give it a try and uh, so I picked it up, it was for the uh, computer, so I, I picked up a, um, a cheap little set of wheel and pedals as well to go along with it and uh, I raced that for about a year or so before I got into uh, uh, NASCAR sim racing which or, um, NASCAR racing 2003 which is what most of the other friends I have uh, got their start in. I gotta say you're, you're really good at sim racing and talking at the same time you should be a streamer. Uh, yeah I don't know I there's I know a few other people that would that would be a lot better at streaming than me I don't I don't know if I quite have the personality. <laughs> I think you do. You're really good at this. So the race is over? Yeah, the race did you, is over. What did you finish? Third? I think third, yeah. I'm Nick Johnson. I'm from Mooresville, North Carolina. I'm a sim racer for the past 15, 16 years and I'm a mechanic for a NASCAR team. Uh, how is it so far? Oh, it's been an amazing experience. This is our first time at a Formula, at least my first time at a Formula One race and to experience it this way has been above and beyond any expectations I could have ever had. So yeah. we're having a great time. Right, so you're a sim racer as well, obviously. Can you describe your setup? Uh, right now I have an Obato Ozone cockpit with a Fanatic V2.5 wheel. I have V3 pedals, the uh, Fanatec sequential shifter, and an Oculus Rift that I actually use for the VR. Thank you once again to Fanatec for having us, and hopefully uh, we can end up going to more of these races in the future. It's been an awesome time and uh, an experience we will never forget. Uh -huh.